If you are having a hard time finding the correlation of two variables, well, you came to the right video. Pearson and Pyramid Rack Correlation. That is what we are going to talk about in this video. So let's get started. Pearson Product Moment Correlation the Pearson product moment correlation is a statistic that measures linear correlation between two variables, x and y. Suppose we have this example. A researcher would like to find out the correlation between students' academic performance and attitudes towards mathematics. So we have here the problem situation. And the problem statement is there a significant relationship between the student's academic performance and attitudes towards mathematics. And also, the null hypothesis, we have there is no significant relationship between the student's academic performance and attitudes towards mathematics. So we have here the table of the academic performance and attitudes towards mathematics with 10 respondents. Step 1. Square the X column. So we have here X, which represents the academic performance. Squaring the individual items, in the academic performance column, so we have 90 squared, that is equal to 8,100. 88 squared, that is equal to 7,744. 78 squared, that is equal to 6,084. 85 squared, that is 7,225. 81 squared, that is equal to 6,561. 92 squared, that is equal to 8,464. 87 squared, that is equal to 7,569. 81 squared, that is equal to 6,561. 85 squared, we have 7,225 and 93 squared which is equal to 8,649. Let's now proceed to step 2. Square the Y column. Squaring the Y column or the attitudes towards mathematics column, we have 2.21 squared that is equal to 4.8841 3.50 squared we have 12.25 1.41 that is equal to 1.9881 2.75 that is equal to 7.5625 4.20 squared that is equal to 17.64 2.25, that is equal to 5.0625, 3.75 squared, that is equal to 14.0625, 1.80 squared, we have 3.24, 2.40 squared, we have 5.76, and lastly, 3.45 squared, that is equal to 11.9025. Let's now proceed to step 3. In step 3, you are going to multiply the x and the y column. So multiplying the x and the y column, which represents the academic performance for x, and y which represents for the attitudes towards mathematics we have, 90 
times 2.21 that is equal to 198.90 88 times 3.15 we have 308 78 times 1.41 that is equal to 273 85 times 2.75 that is equal to 233.75 81 times 4.20, we have 340.20. 92 times 2.25, we have 207. 87 times 3.75, that is equal to 326.25. 81 times 1.80, we have 145.8. 85 times 2.40, that is equal to 204. And lastly, multiplying 93 times 3.45, that is equal to 320.85. Step 4. Get the summation of each column. So when you say summation, all you have to do is to add per column. Adding the academic performance or the X column that is equal to 816. Getting the summation of Y or the attitudes towards mathematics column, we have 27.72. Adding all together the X squared column that is equal to 74,182. Getting the sum of the y squared column that is equal to 84.35 and getting the summation of the xy column that is equal to 2394.73 Step 5. Substitute in the given formula. So we have here at the side, these are our answers in the previous step in step 4. We have n is equal to 10, summation of x is equal to 860, summation of y we have 27.72, summation of x squared which is equal to 74,182, summation of y squared that is equal to 84.35, and summation of xy we have 2394.73. Substituting it in the formula, we have here, so our n is 10 times the summation of xy, which is equal to 2394.73, minus the summation of x, which is 860, times the summation of y, which is equal to 27.72, all over the square root of 10, and that is n times the summation of x squared, we have 74,182 minus the square of the summation of x, so that is equal to the square of 860 times n, which is equal to 10 still, multiplied to the summation of y squared, that is equal to 84.35 minus the square of y, which is equal to the square of 27.72. Multiplying 10 times 2394.73, that is equal to 23,947.3, minus the product of 860 and 27.72, that is equal to 23,839.20 all over the square root of multiplying 10 times 74,182 that is equal to 741,820 minus the square of 860 which is equal to 739,600 times 10 Multiplied to 84.35, which is equal to 843.5, minus the square of 27.72, which is equal to 768.40. Simplify simplifying the numerator, we have 23,947.3 minus 
23,839.20 that is equal to 108.10. All over the square root of Simplifying the denominator, we have 741,820 minus 739,600 that is equal to 2,220. Simplifying 843.5 minus 768.40 that is equal to 75.1. Simplifying the denominator, 2,220 times 75.1 that is equal to 166,722 Getting the square root of 166,722 that is equal to 408.32 Dividing 108.10 by 408.32 it would give us an answer of 0.26 Step 1. Press bold. Step 2. Press 3 stat. Step 3. Press 2 A plus BX. Step 4. Input the data in the X and Y column. Take note. When you input the number, press the number and then enter. Step 5. Press the ON key and SHIFT 1. Step 6. Next thing to do is to press 3 SUM. Ta-da! And these are the numbers that we are looking for. We have summation of x, summation of y, summation of x squared, summation of y squared, and the summation of xy. To get these values, just press ON. Shift 1, choose 3, then repeat. To get the value of Pearson R, press Shift 1, press 5 red, then choose 3 R.